Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Cancer. How are you guys? Let's see what's happening. So I'm going to focus on new love prospects, connections, and those of you who are dealing with someone and what it is you need to know. There we go. Yep, some of you are dealing with someone. You feel like giving up? Some of you feel like giving up on someone? Yeah. Well, there's somebody who's not giving up on you because they're coming back around. I see change and change for the better. Now, this could be just you moving on from a situation, giving up. But there is somebody here wanting to ask you out. And it could be someone coming back around who's not giving up. Just about when you're to give up, there it is. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's someone coming back around, but there is change coming. Yeah. So see something new. So some of you have walked away from a situation. You have someone new. Or it's this person walking away, moving on from someone else. So take it as it resonates. Yeah, this is nice. We have the star. See, this is a person leaving something behind. See, it's burnt to ashes. It's done. It's time for something new. So you've got new coming in. Yeah, and there it is. Someone's hopes and dreams. Some of you too, like I say, uh, it's a situation that didn't serve. Yeah, there you go. You got an opportunity. You're getting something you want here. The star is here. So someone just navigating, you know, charting a new course and navigating the stars, their hopes and dreams. Mm -hmm. Could be someone here who maybe felt you were out of their league at some point, but this is a person who's going to release all this, releasing things that no longer serve. So there you have. Yeah, we've got, look at that, cancer. Someone's about to offer you a pinnacle just when you're ready to give up. Yeah, they're putting in some effort. Yeah, someone wants to build with you. And then we have the magician. They're manifesting. There's going to be communication. So someone manifesting their desires. You have everything you need to manifest your desires. So it's like you both want this, I feel. It's an energy of someone releasing, walking away from something. Tell me about this nine of wands. Oop, we don't want that. Let's take this one. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is this here? This is someone looking back, feeling beat up, feeling like giving up. Yeah, see, some of you have cut somebody out. Speak your mind to someone here. Speaking up, yeah. yeah it's an energy of moving on. Mm -hmm. A little bit of chaos, conflict, drama here, cutting someone out. But it has to do with someone taking action. You know, some of you may have given someone an ultimatum. They could come back and change. It is possible, but... Like I say, it's about speaking up, speaking your mind, being discerning. Someone here is taking action, but I feel it's an energy of a um, little bit of drama here. A little bit of chaos. Yeah, see, it has to do with cooperating, compromising. Some of you are leaving someone behind. You're just not compatible. Or it's this person leaving this person behind. Mm hmm Yeah, it's a situation that didn't serve. Oh, yeah, it's this person moving on from this person. This situation didn't serve this person. I see what's happening, yeah. And this person's walking away. They're ready for something new. They're letting this person go. So this is someone coming towards yourself. I see what's happening. Yeah, they're going down a new path. It's someone who doesn't want to co-op. There's just it's two people who aren't compatible. It's time for change. They just don't get along. Probably have nothing in common. You know, just it's two people who just don't get along, plain and simple. So um, tell me about this Knight of Cups. See, so someone moving on. It's a lot of change, a lot of growth. Uh, it's a lot of abundance coming in. Someone's trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. So trust your intuition here. Yeah, I feel like you know who this person is. You probably know this. You probably already know. But it's also this person trusting their intuition. You know, tell me about this. It could be some this could be yourself leaving someone else behind because of drama. This is often somebody who's not interested in drama. But it's also sometimes a person who can create it. So we'll see. But yeah, I really feel it's this person just coming your way here. Yeah, you've got a opportunity, a fresh new start, an invitation. Wow. Yes. Someone making a life path choice. See, leaving this path behind, leaving someone behind. This is someone looking out at that world. See, looking at the world. 
It's time. It's time for someone to go down a new path. It's time for change. Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah, you got some of you could have a couple things going on. There could be competition here. I got to tell you, for some of you, there could be a couple people competing. One thing we know a lot of this is somebody who often won't compete. So, but it is somebody taking action at the same time. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Just watch out for the drama, okay? Because <laughs> if, if, if it's yourself causing drama and somebody here has given up, you're just not compatible. I mean, it could go either way. You do have somebody coming in to take action. They're coming in to talk, to communicate, to ask you out. It's the dating card, the calling card. So we have Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? There we go. Yeah, see someone here, yeah, releasing baggage. Some of you are letting go of some baggage from a past. See, it no longer serves. It has to be with someone who's not reliable. So it looks like somebody wasn't reliable. You couldn't count on someone here. So you're releasing it. The situation didn't serve. Again, that's why I kind of feel it's yourself. If you have Aquarius in your chart or Gemini, mm-hmm. But like I say, there could be someone giving advice here, telling someone to take action. They could be an Aquarius or a Gemini or even a Libra. So, um, but yeah, it's an energy of trusting the inner knowing. And I do feel this is this opportunity, a fresh new start. Mm -hmm. Someone's hopes and dreams here. But if somebody wants to build, yeah, it's a person who definitely wants to build. They're single. If you have somebody here you can't rely on, that's the thing. You can't rely on them or they're not stable. You can't count on them. Or somebody who's blaming someone, um, someone blaming someone else for the same thing they do. <laughs> Often is the case. Yeah, it's an energy of releasing it, letting it go. Yeah, so we have somebody here who's single. Someone who's looking out for themselves. This is a person who has everything they need to manifest their desires. Yeah, there we have it, King of Pentacles. That just fell on the floor. So this is someone who's single. They want to build. This is someone kind of planning, preparing. They, they're going to communicate. So, But yeah, tell me about this Queen of Swords. Who is the Queen of Swords? Who is the Queen of Swords? Someone who's ending a cycle. Someone with a lot of abundance, though, but it has to do with the timing some sort of timing here this this cycle's over there's a whole new cycle beginning so whatever it is it's over yeah it could be because you've had some of you may have had something on and off with someone where they keep coming back around uh, so you may be trusting your inner knowing it's time to let go of this person they're not reliable but you have a single person coming in they're asking you out they have a lot of growth yeah i feel like you got a person here who someone comes around they're never going to change so this is where two people go their separate ways. You have another opportunity here. Yeah, there's that Wheel of Fortune. See, another cycle here. Windfall of abundance. The timing is just right. So it looks like two people coming apart. So it, it looks like there's something, see, on and off. Chaos, conflict, drama, on and off. It's getting off that emotional roller coaster. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I got to tell you, I have to be honest, though. This could be a missed opportunity or someone here feels they missed an opportunity. They may have cut somebody out, been a little hasty. It's possible. Um, but if you have, the, have had that on and off, finally you get off that roller coaster. You just tell somebody enough is enough. Okay, so somebody not being a pushover, speak in their mind. I really feel you're just heading down another path. I'm sensing another person's energy here for sure. Uh, we have a King of Pentacles that's stable. They are single. Yeah. Yeah, two single people. See, look at that Queen of Cups. Single. Someone who's stable and reliable. Someone who takes care of themselves. Yeah, so we have something with a house and a home. Someone who lives alone. Yeah, this is someone living alone here. But it's someone with a strong a house, a strong financial foundation. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. This is someone here um, definitely manifesting. They're preparing. They feel pretty confident. This is someone feeling confident here. Yeah, they're looking. They see opportunity. They know a good thing when they see it. But they're looking at how this all may play out. So they're taming the beast. They're just kind of... 
uh, chilling out a little bit here as they look at this situation. They're fantasizing and possibly um, romanticizing. Could be somebody being more romantic. But I see the feminine releasing uh, someone because they're not reliable. Because on and off, you can't rely on them. So you want someone stable. You want a solid foundation. You want a home. Some of you maybe do live alone. You don't want to live alone or don't want to be alone. Yeah, see, someone longing for love. Some of you are reminiscing. So this is just reminiscing about a situation here, too. Um, who is this King of Pentacles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, it could be Virgo, Mercury energy uh, communicating here. doesn't have to be. But they have everything they need. See, this is someone who has everything they need. See, their hopes and dreams, everything they need. Now, it's, could, there could be children involved. A blended family, possibly. But it's about this person investing. See, they're looking at this. If they're interested, they're looking at this, investing in this. If it is someone home alone with uh, children. Or someone reminiscing, just longing for love. Yeah. This King of Pentacles is interested. There, there's interest. They're trying, taming the beast, they're trying to be patient. This person's trying to be patient here because they're looking at how this all could go, how it'll play out. But they are fantasizing. It's like, you know, romanticizing in uh, the past here. So it could be someone, it could be someone coming back around, missing someone, longing for them. Yeah, see, a lot of romanticizing about two people, a lot of passion. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, it's a, some of you may have a little Aries in your chart, Samara. See, this is where somebody's just had enough, but I feel some sort of shock and surprise someone finds out someone's single or home alone. The children are gone. <laughs> the children are with, are with Grandma for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like someone missing someone. Yeah, someone's missing somebody here. But I got to tell you, it has to do with a person who's not reliable. The situation's not serving. So this is where I feel this Queen of Cups looking at this, something from the past reminiscing. See, it's a person who's not stable or reliable. I feel like you've got someone you can rely on. I do, like I say, this person's stable. They're coming in. They are looking at this, though. They see, They know a good thing when they see it. There's this energy of taking a pause, looking at things from a whole different perspective. Yeah, you got a person checking you out. You got someone checking you out in your neighborhood, um, maybe where you work, your street. And they're very curious. There's things this person wants to know. They're trying to learn something here. Yeah, they're having a little aha moment. I think something's going to happen suddenly, the tower coming down. Someone finding out someone's single, they're excited. But it's also something to do with a home, see? Yeah, somebody, something to do with someone losing a home or putting an effort, working on the home. Working around, or working from home. But there it is. This is someone avoiding a disaster. Taking, see, they're learning something, taking lessons learned from the past, see, asking someone out, being more romantic. Uh, someone coming in right. We have the Empress. There could be a single parent energy here. So whatever it is you're leaving behind, it's thanks, but no thanks. You're no longer interested. You're moving on. You're going down a new path. You're le someone's being left behind here. I feel like you're just trusting your inner knowing. It's time to walk away. It's time to walk away. Okay, there's a whole new cycle. See, there's a situation that's not serving somebody, but it's also someone's hopes and dreams. Yeah, you know, for this cup, this offer, this opportunity. And I think it's this person here. See, everything they could ever want. But it's whether it's mutual. They're trying to figure out if it's mutual. If you're interested as they are, you see? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So this is a person going to approach here, but it looks like two people have gone their separate ways. Yeah, like I say, two people going their separate ways. This is someone feeling indecisive. They didn't see it coming. So it's a, an energy of someone offering something suddenly out of the blue. A little bit of a shock surprise. I don't think you're going to see it coming. I don't. 
Um, or it's this person here uh, making some kind of a decision. Yeah, no, nope. the decision is the pentacle. Oh, this is someone making the decision. They're suddenly just stop procrastinating and they're doing it. And it is about it is about two people getting to know each other, growing closer. Someone wants to get to know someone. Uh, they want to discover more. So we have an empress. This is the start of something new right here. So all this is being left behind here. Mm -hmm. Tell me more with the Empress energy. Could be a single parent. Someone has a lot of abundance, though. I mean, this is the whole package. This person's looking at it like they're interested, but it's about showing they're interested. It's an energy of someone who pulls their weight. See, this is, this is someone who's dealt with somebody. They just, they just feel like giving up. They don't pull their weight. They're not reliable. It didn't serve. But it's also someone here who's, like I say, there's someone creating conflict, drama, getting angry because there's a lack of compromise or there's just two people who don't get along. Mm -hmm. See, someone taking a break. Someone's taking a little, so this is someone who's taken a bit of a break uh, to heal. To clear things up, clear things out, possibly clearing things up out of a home. See? Clearing out memorabilia. Mm hmm. Someone's re releasing the past here totally, letting go of the past, uh, definitely moving forward. So, yeah, you've got a King of Pentacles coming in here. They're manifesting. You, I feel the feminine's manifested this, someone manifesting life. And this is somebody ready to communicate here. Yep, three of pentacles, cooperation, compromise. This is someone who's more compatible. They're willing to compromise. Yeah, they come in right, justice. Yeah, lovely. See, this is someone who's fair. They're coming in right. See, some of you got someone who wasn't treating you right. Now you have someone, I feel, who is. They, they see you as just right. I mean... They're, they're fantasizing a lot, though. Like I say, be a little careful here with this person. I mean, they're, they're pretty revved up. They're pretty excited. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay? Yeah. So know your worth and value. Know your worth. Okay? Because like I say, if it is someone coming back around, and it could be for some of you, but it's whether or not they're changed or if they've changed for the better. Because some of you may have someone who may never change, and that's what I, why I feel cutting someone out. But it's also somebody here who may have created a lot of chaos, drama, got really angry, somebody with a temper for some cancer energies, or someone was dealing with um, a feminine who was, there's two here, someone may have been a Pisces energy. So someone's walking away from someone. So this, it could be this person here taking a break, clearing things up, clearing things out, getting ready for this new. So there could be someone who was dealing with a Pisces. Somebody, it could be that person who has a little bit of a temper. You know, the tower is coming down, but like I say, someone's really excited about getting things going. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Empress. A little more clarity on the Empress energy. Daughter of Swords, thinking things through, being wise, trusting your inner knowing. It's like you just know. Yeah, you know. So it's telling you to think this through. Know your worth and value. Okay. But yeah, it does look like you don't want this person to get away. Um, I feel there's a, a making, a, see, feeling indecisive, not seeing it coming. It's something that's probably going to throw you off a little bit. And then we have the star. Your worth and value, see, being discerning and wise. But I feel it's just choosing your battle, something that's worth fighting for and something that isn't. So there is someone here, and I feel it could be this person too, though. Like it almost looks like they're moving on from someone. They're going down a new path. So it is the masculine, I feel. But it could be either one of you. Yeah, tell me more about this king of... Pentacles. They're manifesting. They have a lot of skills. They're very capable. This is someone who can fix things, do things. See, they they have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, they are too. Look at that. Um, Ten of Cups. Emotionally mature. Ready to put themselves out there. Happy home. Happy life. And we have 
you know, the hanged man, see? Someone here just taking a pause, looking at things from a whole different perspective. Just kind of checking things out a little. So it does look like it's someone around you wanting to make a move. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, four of wands energy. Look at that, four of wands, a house, a home. Uh, there's no place like home, someone who feels like home. Yeah, this person's an emperor. Oh, and then the empress just came out. There we go. Oh my gosh, happy home, happy life. The emperor and the empress coming together. So nice. You're going to come together with someone here. But the interesting thing is, is it's an energy of compatibility, uh, cooperating, you know, two people who get along. You're going to do things. It's about doing stuff together, spending time together. So someone who's definitely wants to spend time with you. Uh, I just see harmony, so much harmony between two people. See, peace, harmony in your love life is being restored. And I'm going to be honest, some of you it is someone coming back around changed for the better. Okay, uh, now ready to invest, feeling more confident. They, they know a good thing when they see it. They see opportunity and they're looking at how this will all play out too. So, but I feel someone's fantasizing about... <laughs> Yeah, connecting with someone on the physical. But if you need more time, this person will respect you. I see a lot of self-respect and this person too, self-worth. They will respect you. They'll treat you right. They go about things the right way. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they've tamed the beast. They've tamed the beast. They're not, you know, they're grounded. They're sensible. But yeah, they see this as somebody who's a partner. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> So this is this is quite the reading. I'm like, ooh, on and off, back and forth. Yeah, it's all good though because I feel like, um, and I, like I say, if cancer, if it's yourself who you've cut someone out, and if it's not you, where you said thanks but no thanks, I'm no longer interested in this on and off, because it's it's feels disrespectful. You see, it feels disrespectful. I feel like you're safer with this person, but if it's not you, it's them. Dealing with this person, just moving on, avoiding them. See, this is someone avoiding this person. <laughs> They're moving on, taking the lessons they've learned. And it's about someone who knows um, when they're compatible. They've learned some lessons through this. So, And I like that because when you have people who actually apply the lessons they've learned and take it seriously, that's when you know you can connect. It's hard to say where this goes. I have to be honest, I don't see, I mean, I do see this person committing to this path, making the commitment to take this to another level. See, this is somebody here who comes in to commit and then they want to take it to the next level. So just be careful of anyone who manipulates you, okay? That's the only thing is you want to watch. Take a break, sleep on it, okay? Like, I, I feel like somebody here, you're home alone or something, and they want to come over. They want to spend the night. Self-respect, self-worth, right? Releasing it. The situation wouldn't serve. And that's what I feel. You know your worth. Yeah. Very nice. It's an energy of choosing, right? Choosing your battles. Choosing what's right for you. What feels safe and secure. And... I'm not going to pull out any more cards here. I feel it's just sort of repeating itself. But I feel this, it's all up to yourself here, Cancer. Okay, choosing your battles, choosing someone who's right, someone who treats you with respect, someone who's there when you need them. They pull their weight. You can, they're reliable. You can count on them to be there, you see? Because I feel this energy up here is not reliable. Take care. See you soon.